Alright, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Spellforce 3. It's an RTS RPG hybrid. Kind of plays like, uh, I, I'd say it's pretty close to, like, uh, Warcraft 3, but with, like, a little bit of MOBA, uh, mechanics thrown in, uh, for better or worse. But also with deeper RPG mechanics? I don't know, it's kind of a weird, it's a weird game. And, uh, I've seen the previous two Spellforces, and they never really looked that interesting. Uh, they always looked kind of dated. Uh, but Spellforce 3, on the other hand, actually looks pretty decent. And, uh, I was playing a little bit of it just to familiarize myself, and it looks, it looks good. So let's get started. Uh, so I'm gonna be playing on normal difficulty with the pseudo-MOBA style control scheme. There's a more classic RTS RPG one, uh, but I, I think I'm gonna try this. Let's see, starting a new campaign, we'll overwrite the previous one, yes. Oh. I guess the dialogue doesn't go again. You're General Sentenza Noria, commander of the Wolf Guard. Uh, effectively, we're after a rogue mage named Asano, Asamo Tihar. And we're gonna go kill him. That's weird. Okay, I guess I can read it. Uh, I, I didn't know if it was gonna continue. So apparently, because I had played this mission before, the dialogue's not gonna play again. So, you're General Sentenza Noria, commander of the Wolf Guard. According to rumor, a group of rebels planning to overthrow the crown has taken refuge in a deserted castle in the wilds of Iskander. Their leader, a mage named Isamo Tahar, is, a, is as charismatic as he is radical. It is your job to end his scheming, one way or another. It's true, sir. They're inside the fortress. Good. What about the outpost? They've set it up and are waiting for you to take over and give instructions. The new guy, Private, um... Carpal. Yes, that one. He's in charge right now. Good. I've told you before and I'll tell you again. This mission is important. The man inside that fortress, Isamo Tahar, he's more than just an ordinary lawbreaker. He's a traitor, he's a mage, and he's a murderer. We are the best the Royal Army has to offer, and the Queen put her faith in us. So let's not fail her. Now move. To the outpost. Uh, bah, bah. I'll tab, I'll back in, and things happen. Okay, so here we go. Uh, so you control around. The camera might be, uh, camera speed might be a little bit fast. I cranked it up earlier because it was a little bit slow on me. Uh, so let's put it like a uh, 2.3. Maybe that should be a good idea. Oh, wait, hold on. There's a quick save button. It's F11. Let's switch that to F5. I'm so used to F5 being the, uh, the quick save. Move forward, move backward. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so looks like we more or less can't explore. We have to just go up this direction. Well, that's fine. Careful! Wolves up ahead! Oh no. Random mob enemies that I can't stop. Whatever will I do? They're going to kill us. Oh wait, no. <laughs> Rabbit, what a lovely piece of earth this is. Let's see. Yeah, uh, I'm trying to, be, like, explain how this is going to go, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to be able to describe any of this particularly well until we get further in. The dialogue interruptions, and honestly, like... Hmm. That could come in handy. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, the dialogue interruptions are going to be a, uh, a constant thing, and, eh, whatever, it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so here's an interesting point. Buckler. Prove useful to more agile. Tactical fighters. So I actually, so I, I mentioned, oh, can I get over there? Let's see if they'll go back. Uh, I, I'd mentioned that I'd gone back to, uh, to play this, where well, I, I had played this before this episode, because I wanted to see what could happen, uh, like what would happen, because, okay, that's kind of awkward. Kind of hard clicking on the enemies. Unfortunately, uh, there's no, like, camera rotation or anything like that. So sometimes moving around and, like, engaging combat is going to be a bit weird. But anyway, so I'd played this beforehand, and I'd looted that same thing, and it actually gave me a different result. So I guess we do have some randomly generated loot here. Can I, can I open this up? There we go. Potions and the remains of what appears to be a traveler. Seems like the wolves got the better of him. I'm just gonna look around for a little while. I assume that there's not much more for exploration. The extra potions is kind of nice. I don't really know uh, if I'm gonna use any of it. So we also have a talisman of second chance. 
Oh, so that uh, revives fallen soldiers. And we have healing potions and some other stuff. Okay, now we continue on to the outpost. I just saw the uh, the glittering treasure chest down there, and I'm like, oh, this is something I need to go get. That the outpost? Yes, sir. Good. Then let's find Private Carpool. General Noria, it's an honor. Private Carpool, report. How much resistance do we face? Impossible to say, sir. We've captured two of the rebels in the woods, but they wouldn't talk. All we know is that there have been some troubles within the, um, resistance. That might be to our advantage. Where are those two rebels you captured? Can I talk to them? I am afraid that won't be possible, sir. They're dead. How? Poison. They had it in their robes and swallowed it once we left them in their cell. Cowards. You mentioned troubles within the Resistance. What do you mean by that? The prisoners wouldn't tell us, so we waited for your arrival, as you ordered. As you might know already, Tahar and his mages barricaded themselves in the old fortress. We'll need to find a way inside. And that's what we'll do. Anything else? No, sir. Good. Good work, Private. I'm glad they assigned you to my unit. Oh, I'm... <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Let the workers know I'm in command now. We need to get this camp and our men into shape before we can make a move. Understood. Get over here, men. Yes, you! For those of you who don't know who this is, General Sentenza Noria, spy master of the Queen and commander of the Wolf Guard. He's the one in charge of this operation, and from now on, you'll follow his orders. Understood? Yes, sir! General? Yes, first we need to... Rebels, we're under attack. Oh, blazes. Keep it together. We'll show them what it means to take on the crown. Okay, charge. I'm sure there are tactics. But in my case, tactics. Uh, let's see. So, neat thing I can do with this game is uh, you can press and hold alt and use various abilities on specific people. Uh, so specifically if you want to if you want to like target this guy for shield bash, you can. Unfortunately, uh, he's out of range. Unfortunately, all of the units kind of all blend in with each other, like, way too easily, so it's gonna be a little bit hard to, uh, to identify where my heroes are in that process. That was all of them, I think. Are you alright, Gwen? I know how to defend myself, baby brother, but thanks for asking. Quiet. If Tahar knows our location, it won't be long until he'll launch another attack. We should stock up on resources first, and then set up a barrack to arm our men. Let's begin. Carpal, get the hunting cabin manned, and see any lumberjacks among our workers. We need wood. Understood. There's plenty of fish in these waters too, so maybe... Sure, whatever helps. Apparently pressing the, uh, the slow button. Oh, that's interesting. What are these? I don't even know what that does. Uh, the, pressing the slow down time button uh, really kind of mucks with the dialogue. I guess it's good to know. How do I select these people? Can I like set them? As, ah, I can set them as squad one. Okay, that's going to make my life a lot easier. So we're going to want to... Oh, we want to put some men into the hunting good. cabin as well. Now let's build the barracks. Okay, build the barracks. Now I can rotate it around. I'm not sure if I really want to. So old tutorials will not pop up again. Eh, that's good. This will be a and now we want to start looking around. So, right, it's been a while since I've played an RTS. Uh, th this one's going to be a bit interesting. Obviously the uh, RPG mechanics and stuff are going to throw me for a bit of a loop. Oh. That's weird. Okay, so I can use middle mouse button to pan. I wonder if I can invert that. Invert horizontal camera movement. Ooh. That's... <laughs> that's worse. That's so much worse. Oh, that is very distracting. Yeah, I'm used to clicking and dragging, so if I click here and drag down, I pull the camera, but instead it kind of moves towards my cur... That's different. Okay. Um, 
I mean, it's not a big deal. That's just... That is going to throw me for so many, so many loops. Oh, well. I'd, I'll get used to it. I mean, nice part is I can do edge panning, so I don't have to click the middle mouse button. I can just do it if I want to go real fast and make everybody feel kind of ill. So we want to just kind of look around right now. Uh, we probably... Is this thing done yet? Nah, it's not quite done yet. Yeah, we want to look around and see what we've got. The answer is spiders. Let's see if I can hit it with the dead eye first. Fair enough. Now let's man them. The quicker we get those soldiers armed, the better. Let's see, we have this guy in the back. He doesn't really feel like being part of the uh, fight, does he? Let's do healing touch. Okay. I'm trying to avoid losing as many men as possible. Uh, just because right now I don't have a means of replacing them. Looks like we're good. I don't think we've lost anybody. So, Carpal, where are you from? We never got the chance to talk back in Greykeep. Some village in Iskander. Doubt you'd know it. Hmm. And how did you get the Lord Marshal to recommend you? Uh... There we go. Yeah, still trying rather, rather hard to not lose anybody. Okay, run recruit. Let's do... This. Another heal. Trying to keep them up. Unfortunately, this ambush is particularly rough. Nope. Two seconds. Yeah, I'm gonna start losing people. Well... I think we've only lost one recruit, so that's not so bad. Okay, do I have a whirlwind attack? I do. Shield bash. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta heal my guys more often. But that's okay. Okay, so we've got this handled, and we killed a little bit extra. So let's grab the wood pile and just run around. Actually, we should probably heal before I move too much. Gwen, just stop pestering him, okay? All right, all right. Okay, so we have a great orcish maze. It's two-handed. We also have a nodachi, two-handed. Uh, so, Sentenza has really good gear, so we probably don't want to switch it out. Uh, he can't use it. We do have Bertrand, no. Let's see. So... Could I? No, he can't use it either. Alright, so I guess we'll just hold on to the Great Orcus Mace, Mace and the Nodachi for now. I guess at some point we'll get uh, hero units. Sir, a question? Mm -hmm. This coup Tahar is planning, if we don't stop him, do you think he'll have a chance? No. Even with support? I've heard that House Iskander is sympathizing with his cause. Tahar's cause is power. The rest is just verbiage to get a following. And even if it weren't, and this revolution about the safety of mages, Eolot Iskander doesn't care about that. If he is supporting Tahar, it's because he's hoping to gain something from it. Hmm. Makes sense. We need to gather more wood, Commander. Okay, so I'm just going to produce a bunch of uh, arsonists. I... I feel like arson is not something that you, like, arsonists, not something you want in your army, but I guess if you're raiding a fort. Blazes. They mutilated him. You think the rebels did this? Yes. They didn't rob him as highwaymen would have. Then why? Why did they kill him? Because that's what Tahar wants. Chaos and mayhem. Another reason to get that bastard and hang him by the neck. Indeed. Okay. I wonder if I can actually change the control scheme back to the uh, control scheme B. We'll try this. Let's see. This is a huge group. Concerningly so, honestly. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to queue these up. I'm just going to be using alt. Uh, instead, who's the most wounded? These guys probably are. This actually is an easier group than last time. 
I could get some more healers, that'd actually be nice. Ooh, human recruit unlocked. So I can replace my uh, my fallen melee dudes. Well, that worked out. Okay, so can I do one? No. So, yeah, I have no uh, I have no hotkeys for abilities anymore. But if I press Alt, it shouldn't be a problem. It's kind of easier anyway. I I do kind of wish this game had like an active pause that I could just throw up whenever I'm like, uh, I gotta I gotta consider what's going on here. But this game does have a PvP mode, so having that in would be a problem. Some random equipment. I'm curious, can I... Oh, no. It doesn't look like I can, uh... So I can only equip stuff onto hero units. Well, sell it. Extra HP. Well, let's give him the Conqueror Helmet. We'll give... No, we can't give him the Salad. Well, that's fine. Can we... Nope, can't give him the Salad. Still. This is fine. I guess I should probably heal that guy. Well, never mind. I think units do heal over time, though, which is kind of a plus. Okay, so what do we... We have something over here. Just another chest. I, I do like the world exploration. Like, this really does remind me of Warcraft 3. Uh, in terms of, like, the running around the world and the squad-based movement and the couple of hero characters. Because that always felt really good to me. Okay, so let's get up here. We should have a whole bunch of arsonists. I'm just going to cancel all the remaining arsonists because apparently I built a uh, a lot more. Than I was kind of expecting. Well, <laughs> oh, oh boy, this um, I uh, oh yeah, units in squad three. Oh, I made too much. I didn't quite... Alright. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish Swords and Torches. Uh, I chop, chop, man. Let's get to don't work. know if I can kill any of them. Uh, is there anything else I can do while I'm here? Can I build, like... Yeah, I can't get, like, a log cabin. Yeah, so that's just going to be stuck. Uh, hopefully we lose some people here then. <laughs> Maybe I should stop being um, so worried about things. <laughs> I made a mistake. Hello! <laughs> oh man. I'm still going to actively try and keep my people alive, but, um... <laughs> I may have messed up here. Like, a lot. At the same time. Oh, boy. <laughs> I just want to set the world on fire. I was... <laughs> I was not expecting to get this number of dudes uh, with one recruitment. Okay, so pretty much I can just do whatever I want now. There's... I... Casualties of war do not stop this crew. How am I supposed to progress here? Actually. Oh, can I go up here? Oh, I can go up here. Yeah, we're just going to uh, win via sheer numbers, I guess. Oh, this bid... This bodes weird for the future. Tiara's breath! Kill them! Yeah, so pretty much just make sure that, uh, that none of my hero characters die. And then, well, if my recruits die, oh well. So camera rotation. Oh, I can rotate with Q and E, which is very slow, but I can rotate the camera now. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn that up. That should be fine. That's better. So I can rotate the camera. Locked. Now we were getting through here. 
Hmm. Can't we get the workers to build a battering ram? Sure, brother. With luck, it'll be finished right in time for Asamo Tahar's coronation. We don't have that time. There must be another way, so let's take a look around. Look, there's a path over there. You're right. If we're lucky, that one leads into the fortress, too. Don't jinx it. Oh, that one's been dead for weeks. Looks just like you in the mornings, brother. You're not funny. There it is. Now let's wait for the arsonists to catch up. You found a talisman. Talismans are items that allow you to cast a special ability when used. Equip the talisman of cryomancy in the inventory to gain access to the frost blast. Uh, what? I'm gonna have that. What talisman of cryomancy? We have a buckler. Should she equip the buckler or will that be in the way of her staff? No, it will be. I don't see a talisman of cryomancy. I see bonus HP. Maybe they had to finish the dialogue? Nope. I... There it is. Now let's wait for the arsonists to catch up. Uh... Well, I'm confused. I guess we'll find that out later. Mm, no getting through here. We'll need a specialist or a battering ram for that. Uh, ar arsonists? I... Do I have to just randomly kill one of my dudes? Uh... Follow, attack, stop, aggressive mode. Because I think I'm supposed to do swords and torches. Uh, can I... Can I shoot him? Those are his resistances. Uh, I could have actually messed up here. Can I attack this guy? Hmm. Yeah, how many arsonists do you want, Sintenza? Now let's wait for the arsonists to catch up. I... Yes. Hello. I have brought many. There Did it is. Now let's wait for the arsonists to catch up. Okay, well, I did quick save semi-recently. We'll just go with that. This is probably back before I did anything particularly interesting, which is unfortunate. <sighs> but I don't think I can execute or de-recruit any of my units, so I don't really have a choice. There it is. Arsonists get to work. Yeah, so it definitely did break earlier. We really had to do those quests. For a second, I thought all I had to do was talk to Private Corporal. But we we really had to finish that initial quest. Amateurs work. Go. Okay, well first, before we go anywhere, we should... Oh boy, hello. So I get the feeling we're probably going to lose some of these characters. Sintenza Noria. Uh... Just feels too powerful-ish. I don't know. Okay, increases damage to two-handed weapon. Increases damage while dual wielding. Cleave. Deal damage to single target. Extra that. Uh, I'm just going to increase his damage while dual wielding, I think. Let's see, otherwise there's leadership. Repair. Encourage. So, that's interesting. Okay, and what else do we do? Strength. Sure. No, that's just him, right? Yeah, so each one of these characters has different abilities. Okay, so that's Restore. Verdict, damage and interrupt a target enemy. Shield, a target ally. Otherwise, I could get... Well, I think I have to get this first. Resurrection just sounds a little bit uh, too easy. Maybe. War cry. Taunt enemies. Taunt multiple enemies. Taunt one enemy. What else do we have? Sword and board. Block chance. Faint. Damage. Damage calculation. Let's do war cry. 
And it doesn't look like I'll have to drag it out. That's good. Okay, and so this is the archery guy. Uh, serrated arrow is bleeding or impaling shot, which is damage and stun. Let's go serrated arrow. Oh, right. All of these characters have attribute points that I can allocate. So let's give him constitution. Or not constitution. Him dexterity. Him constitution. And her intelligence? Focus regeneration versus... Does it say? It's willpower. Alright, there we go. Now everybody's leveled up. Uh, let's go back to the arson spam. Do we have more arson, or we're we're capped out on arsons, at least for a little while? It is not hard to get like a stupid amount of art uh, arsonists, is it? So this is actually kind of a good stopping point. We really haven't gotten anywhere. And starting over, eh, do we want to go a little bit further? I don't know. I know this is going to be a uh, a two part episode. See, so yeah, let's call it here before we go too far. So I'm liking this game so far. I I like the RPG mechanics. It's a lot to get through in the first like episode or two, uh, but the mechanics seem kind of fun. Uh, the RTS stuff. I mean, it seems more like a, a almost a CRPG, but you can recruit tons of units to follow you around and fight things, which I actually really do appreciate. Uh, and, like, the voice acting, the dialogue is all pretty good. And, unlike the past two games, this game does not look like ass. Which, I really do appreciate. I... I had looked at the previous Spellforce game. What the... Shit, they got through. Two arms! They'd, uh... One... The last one came out just as I was starting my channel. I was like, let's take a look at this. No. Uh, and it looks like they have had a, uh... A bit of a uh, increase in quality, uptick in quality, I guess I would say. Now, if I taunt everybody, what happens? It kind of breaks the AI. Good to know. Let's see, can I start shooting this guy from afar? Yes, I can. Holy crap, that does damage. But then again, he's not actually like a super fancy unit of any variety. So it looks like we're the archers out of focus. Well, that's that's fine. Let's see, Sentenza, you want to just go over here and murder this guy? I'm sure killing the uh, mentalist is a decent idea. And we've got a new small army of arsonists. I should probably start producing more um, more recruits though, because uh, they're starting to get they're starting to get eaten. But that's okay. All right, so yeah, this this is a good stopping point. I it's kind of the halfway point. Things will get a lot faster, I think, as we go further in. Uh, so I like this game. It's neat. Oh, half the party was missing for that. <laughs> I was wondering. I'll grab the arsonist. Jeez, it's six at a time too. Yeah, I can't wait until we can get some better units, so it's not just quantity over quality. Okay. Uh, let's see. So yeah, blueprint. Population required, units and squad. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. So it's it's the same pop, uh, like same population cost, but definitively better. That's nice. I think we also get like unit upgrades and a couple other things too. Okay, so the game is out today. Uh, let's see, and it is. I'm trying to find the price tag. I don't know if people really care about this sort of stuff, but I figure I should mention it anyway. So the game's out today, and it is 50 bucks, uh, which, if you're a fan of the previous Spellforce games, this one seems to be probably a, uh, uh, well, I mean, kind of, not a no-brainer, but uh, it definitely seems to be a jump up in quality. They probably got a bigger budget, uh, if I'm not mistaken. What is this? Can I, can I, like, break this? No, there's just a rock here for some reason. Okay. Uh, but... I don't know, it, it just seems fun. I have no idea how long it is. Uh, from what I've heard, they're decently long, too. Uh, so I'll, I'll get as far as I can. Uh, I don't know how far that's going to be. Hopefully the missions get a little bit faster, or really I just get more units so I can uh, blast through things quicker. But for now, no fish left in sector. Okay. 
Well, I mean, I got 109 fish, so I think that'll be okay. I'm sure they'll tutu tutorialize how to expand someday. What the? Oh, that's weird. The hunting cabin, but it just has this these, like, weird hands above it. Oh, that's saying there's nothing left. That's why there are these giant weird hands that stick out like sore thumbs. I get it now. That actually makes sense. Okay. Well, I guess with that, uh, if you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see more Spellforce 3, let me know in the comments below. Because I'm amenable to playing more. Uh, and I probably will play at least a couple of missions. You know, get a little bit further into the plot. Maybe beat up, uh, beat up some mages. Uh, probably watches every character that I'm currently playing as dies. M maybe not. It just feels weird to have a dude with, uh, epic equipment from the outset. Uh, usually they start you fresh with somebody garbage and new. But who knows? Maybe I do actually get to keep some Tenzinoria for the entire game. I don't know. Anyway, so I guess with that, see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.